again i will solve this question in two methods whichever the method you are comfortable with please follow that method first let us read the question understand the question and then execute it if the speed of a moving body increases by 37.5 percentage by what percent should the time be decreased so as to maintain the same distance now distance is the same distance is constant listen carefully sir method 1 method 2 i am still in basic level questions i will slowly slowly go on to some examination questions in fact this kind of questions also has come in the examination multiple times listen carefully sir if the speed of a moving body increases by 37.5 percentage now speed increases by 37.5 percentage for all the people who has missed out my fraction to percentages class in di class or maybe in percentages class kindly Ignore this statement as of now. 37.5 is nothing but 3 by 8. Kindly ignore how it is 3 by 8 as of now. We know how it is 3 by 8 from our previous classes. If you are a new student who has not attended that class, ignore it for time being, sir. Right? Speed increases by 3 by 8. By what percentage should the time be decreased so as to maintain the same distance? Now, Time should decrease because the distance is the same, right? The distance is the same. Listen carefully. I just now used one of the approach for you to teach this particular kind of problem. Denominator always represents initial value. First of all, speed into time is equal to distance, right? Speed into time is equal to distance. Initially, I was traveling at some initial speed. I increased the speed. Finally, I went at some other final speed. Initially, I was taking some initial time to reach the office. Because I increased my speed, finally, I took some other time. Now, what is the question? If the speed of a moving body increases by 3 by 8, denominator represents the initial value. And I am talking about speed. So, initial speed is 8 km per hour. Right? Initial speed is 8 km per hour. What will be the final speed? If the initial speed is 8 km per hour, final speed will be 3 more than 8. 3 more than 8. They are saying that there is an increase of 3 from 8. There is an increase of 3 from 8. Increase of 3 from 8. 3 plus 8 finally will become how much? It will become 11. So can I say that initial speed is 8. Final speed is 11. And distance is constant. Speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Right? Speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. This 8 and 11 will become reverse. It will become 11 and 8. Right? It will become 11 and 8. What is your question? By what percentage should the time be decreased? To maintain the same distance, I need to decrease the time as of now. And same logic I will implement. Initial denominator always represents your initial value. Initial time is 11 minutes. Initial time is 11. Put it in the denominator. 11 is becoming 8. 11 is becoming 8. That means there is a decrease of how much? There is a decrease of 3. Put it that in the numerator. 3 by 11, I also told you one more logic to remember in percentages. If the denominator is 11, answer should be a multiple of 9. 9 into numerator, 9 into 3 is 27. Write down twice. Answer for your question is 27.27 percentage. Right? Answer for your question is time is decreased by 27.27 percentage. But you don't need to do all these intermediate steps and waste your time in the examination. You can actually get the answer within one step and that too probably without using pen. That is what I will refer to as method 2 in this particular problem. I hope method 1 is very very clear. In fact, in method 1 also we did not use any variable kind of methodology or a formula based methodology we used a completely different method but having said that method 2 is something which will give the answer little fast now see here sir can I say that speed into time is nothing but equal to distance speed into time is the distance and this distance is given in the question as a constant it is given as the same distance distance is given in the question as a constant now listen carefully if one of the parameter Preferably, if right hand side is constant, if right hand side is constant 
and the product of two parameters is giving you a constant quantity use this particular method i taught you this method in percentages class in detail now they are saying that speed of a moving body increases by 37.5 percentage speed increases by 37.5 is nothing but 3 by 8 if speed is increasing time will decrease right if speed is increasing time will decrease by what parameter will the time decrease listen carefully sir can i say that can i say that here the numerator is 3 don't change your numerator whatever numerator you have copy paste the same numerator here also write down the same three here also now this question is consisting of increase right the question is consisting of increase if the question is consisting of increase you should add the denominator and numerator what is 8 plus 3 8 plus 3 is 11 if the question consists of increase add the denominator and numerator and write down in the denominator if the question consists of decrease subtract the denominator and numerator and write down in the denominator 3 by 11 convert back to percentage it is 27.27 percentage it is a one step answer compared to what we have solved in method one method one also is one of the very very beautiful method but method two should give you the answer little faster compared to method one in this particular question i believe the idea is very very clear so Sheila, you did not understand let me explain you method two with multiple other examples now see here sir for all the students method two i will take two to three examples price increases by price increases by suppose for example price increases by 20 percentage consumption should decrease by what percentage consumption should decrease by what percentage to maintain the same expenditure right to maintain the same expenditure now question says price increases by 20 percent 20 percent is 20 by 100 1 by 5 if the price increases consumption should decrease right consumption should decrease one of the right hand side parameter is constant it is given in the question as expenditure is same if that is the case don't change the numerator whatever numerator you have copy paste the same numerator if the question consists of increase add the denominator and numerator 5 plus 1 is 6 1 by 6 convert back to percentage it is 16.67 percentage right it is 16.67 percentage one more example for your better understanding suppose your question is length of a rectangle length of a rectangle decreases by length of a rectangle decreases by 60 percentage by what percentage should the breadth increase to maintain the same area right to maintain the same area no need to use all those 100 and then increase by 60 percent or decrease by 60 percent and waste your time length decreases by 60 percentage is nothing but 3 by 5 length decreases by 3 by 5 if the length decreases breadth will increase because the area is constant whatever numerator you have copy paste the same numerator 3 denominator because the question consists of decrease question consists of decrease subtract the denominator from numerator what is 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 3 by 2 is nothing but 150 percentage answer for this question is 150 percentage same ideology whatever i discussed in these two problems I have actually discussed in this particular question of time, speed and distance also. I believe that my students are very, very clear with the logic. Next question. I believe that this kind of problem solving is clear for my students. One more example before I move on to the next question of this sort. Suppose speed of a moving body increases by speed of a moving body increases by suppose for example if i take speed of a moving body increases by 25 percentage by what percentage time should decrease to maintain the same distance what should be the answer for this question sir i am sure that you can answer all these questions without using pen with a little bit of practice probably you are using pen as of now but i don't want my student to use pen to solve all these questions speed increases by 1 by 4 if speed increases time should decrease by what value it should decrease don't change the numerator numerator is 1 itself if the question consists of increase add the denominator with numerator 4 plus 1 is 5 1 by 5 convert back to percentage it is 20 percentage i believe the idea is clear 
फर्स्ट लेटर्स रीड द क्वेश्चन ए कार कवर्स डिस्टेंस इन एट अवर्स दट मीन ए पर्सन इज ट्रावलिंग इन ए कार फ्रम ए टू बी द टाइम टेकन फॉर हिम टू कवर द डिस्टेंस फ्रम ए टू बी इज एट एट अवर्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट had the speed been increased by 4 kilometers per hour the time would have been reduced by 30 minutes if i increase my speed by 4 kilometers per hour i will reduce the time by 30 minutes find the distance now i don't know the initial initial speed right sir if i had the initial speed i would have increased it by 4 kilometers per hour to get the final speed but i don't know the initial speed now listen carefully i will solve it in two methods my students will pick up the methodology whichever they are comfortable with method 1 speed into time is equal to distance speed into time is equal to distance i am traveling at some initial speed टाइम टेकन ईज एट अवर्स एंड ई विल कवर् सम डिस्टेंस डी दिस इज मई ईक्वेशन वन सेकेंड डे ऐम इनक्रीजिंग मई स्पीड बै फोर किलोमीटर्स पर्वर दट मीन स्पीड इनक्रीज टू एस प्लस फोर एंड टाइम बिकॉज द स्पीड इज इनक्रीज बै फोर किलोमीटर्स पर्वर टाइम टेकन वुड हव बी रेड्यूज बै थर्टी मिनिट्स अर्लियर ई वाट टेकिंग एट अवर्स नौ ई विल टेक Thirty minutes less than eight hours, which is seven and a half hours, which is nothing but fifteen by two in fractions. But the distance will still remain the same. This is my second equation, right? This is my second equation. Same like my previous question. Like right hand side of both the equations are same. Equate the left hand side. If I equate the left hand side, can I say that? If I equate the left hand side, here the left hand side in equation one is eight into s. Left hand side in equation two is s plus four. S plus four into fifteen divided by two. The divided by two I will cross multiply to the left hand side. So if I finally simplify, sixteen s is equal to fifteen s. Plus sixty, right? Plus sixty. Fifteen yes, sixteen yes. Minus fifteen yes is yes. Yes is nothing but sixty kilometers per hour, right? Yes is nothing but sixty kilometers per hour. Now I know the speed as sixty kilometers per hour after solving two equations, and I know the actual time as eight eight hours. So distance is nothing but substitute yes in equation one. Equation one becomes. 60 into 8 is equal to distance so distance will be how much distance will be equal to 60 into 8 which is 480 kilometers what all students will do to get the answer as 480 kilometers sir which does not deserve a pen this question really does not deserve a pen if you are a student of anil nair classes and if you have practiced much more better listen carefully sir i will not be interested in solving using method 1 which Which involves equations, and I need to solve that equation, get the value of a variable, and back substitute in any one of the equation to get the value of another variable. Time-consuming process, not at all interested. Listen carefully to my method two. Listen carefully to my method two. Can I say that? Had the speed been increased by four kilometers per hour, the time would have been reduced by thirty minutes. Earlier time is eight hours. Can I say that? I am talking about time parameter as of now. I am talking about time parameter. You have a numerator. You have a denominator. I just five minutes before told you this statement. You have a numerator. You have a denominator. Your denominator will always represent your initial value. Initial time taken is eight hours. Put it in the denominator. So simple logic, sir. Why are you using this methodology? Put it in the denominator as eight. And numerator is. If the speed is increased by four kilometers per hour, time would have been reduced by thirty minutes. Initial time is eight hours. If the initial time is eight hours, final time will reduce by half an hour compared to eight hours. How much ever it is reducing, put it in the numerator. Denominator will always represent your initial value. Numerator will always represent. how much increase is happening or how much decrease is happening here there is a decrease of half an hour so put that 0.5 in the numerator so can i say that time decreases by 
1 by 16 0.5 1 by 2 if the time decreases by 1 by 16 speed should increase by what value i already taught you this particular concept five minutes before don't change the numerator numerator let it be one itself if the question consists of decrease subtract these two 16 minus 15 is 16 minus 1 is 15 that means speed increases by 1 by 15 the meaning of 1 by 15 is initial speed is 15 there is an increase of 1 km per hour speed but the question says there is an increase of 4 km per hour speed question says 4 km but fraction says 1 km so make it to 4 multiply by 4 divide by 4 that means speed increases by 4 by 60 both are absolutely same the meaning of 4 by 60 is initial speed is initial speed is 60 kilometers per hour that is what i got here also in method one initial speed is 60 and initial time is 8 so distance will be 60 into 8 overwrite where am i using the variables or fractions what is that uh, equations here sir in fact i am damn sure that you can solve these kind of questions definitely without using pen if you have practiced better I am repeating if you are not satisfied with this method. I am repeating this is one of the beautiful method where you can have initial value in the denominator. Numerator is always how much increase or how much decrease. Kindly comment in the live chat if it is clear for you sir. Kindly comment in the live chat. This is what you can expect from Anil Nair Classes YouTube channel. No gimmicky methods. No variable methods no formula methods some inexperienced trainer coming and taking classes and paying just for the pro probably for their pocket money and other things we don't entertain it we are not at all bothered about such kind of faculties if the faculty is not sincere with his preparation and if he or she is not giving value addition to the students i think good boy for that faculty as simple as that yes method 2 is not clear yes i believe you have listened to my previous problem yes right i believe you have listened to my previous problem i am repeating one more time for all the students for whom method 2 is not that clear listen carefully initially question says a car covers a distance of 8 hours distance in 8 hours initial value should always come in the denominator initially it is taking 8 hours to cover the distance put that 8 in the denominator put that 8 in the denominator can i say that had the speed been increased by 4 km per hour time taken would have reduced by 30 minutes initially it was taking 8 hours final speed there is a decrease of half an hour whatever the value it is increasing or decreasing put it in the numerator 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 8 is 1 by 16 so time decreases by 1 by 16 speed should increase by what value don't change the numerator write down same one if the question consists of decrease subtract these two 16 minus 1 is 15 the meaning of speed 1 by 15 is initial speed is 15 right initial speed is 15 there is an increase of 1 kilometers per hour speed but question says there is an increase of 4 kilometers per hour speed make that 1 as 4 multiply numerator by 4 multiply denominator also by 4 1 by 15 can also be written as 4 by 60 that means speed initially is 60 kilometers per hour that is what i got in method 1 time initially is 8 hours distance is 60 into 8 Rajkumar, I repeated again, sir. Yes, I also repeated for you. I believe that it is very, very clear right now. No methodologies which involves this left-hand side methods what I have discussed. And if you want that kind of methodologies, probably you should quit our YouTube channel. 